Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Hoveral Narcisse and for today we're going to feature my denim jacket from Warehouse and Company. This particular jacket I bought it uh, last year, May, in May last year 2021. Actually I bought this uh, jacket purposely for the first or the inaugural red line rally fading competition and uh, i bought this uh, this is worth uh, 19,800 pesos at the signet store in power plant mall in makati city this is the uh, type type one model uh, denim jacket this is uh, actually a a, a a copy of the 1946 type 1 denim jacket and the uh, warehouse was able to recreate the uh, what a 1946 uh, type 1 denim jacket looks like so I think this is <clears throat> 14 ounces in weight and uh, I initially used this for the first uh, four to six months in my work in my backyard uh, cleaning and planting and walking and uh, I have here the fade of this uh, jacket Unfortunately, I've, uh, I've used two, uh, I, actually I used two items as a competition pair for this red line rally. I used uh, a, a pullover shirt from Leon Denim in the Philippines. And uh, <clears throat> in the finals, it was the Leon Denim that uh, I submitted. In that uh, competition, you are allowed to use a jacket and a shirt uh, item, denim, in the competition. And you can yeah, you use it for one year, but uh, for six months, I've been using this almost every day in my daily works here in my backyard. But uh, and, and then I went to the United States, I brought this jacket, and I use it, but later on, on the on the last four months of the competition i only use this for for inside the house when sleeping actually i use it as a pajama and in sleeping and that's it so finally i decided not to to submit this uh, item for my final pair of competition item for the red line rally i opted to use the Leon Denim Pullover Shirt, Sierra Nevada. So, but uh, for this video, I would, like, I would like to show you how this particular denim jacket had faded. So, we have here some fade on the sleeves. By the way, I, I only washed this particular jacket for three times. And I think I soak it for two or three times, as far as I can remember. So I have three soaks and then three washes. I just uh, use ordinary deter detergent soup. Soap, soap, I mean soap. So uh, powdered uh, detergent soap. And you can see some fades on the armpit. This is where most of the friction are being done because sometimes I, I use this in pumping some water in the water pump. You see also some fading on the edges. The edges. And for the whole year, I have with me a, a uh, rosary. It, the rosary, I bought it in Rome when I traveled, visited Italy, and uh, the said rosary is inside the canister. And I 
I place the the holy rosary in inside the canister in this pocket and that's the result of the fading you have a circle uh, because of that uh, canister and on the other side I have also some some fading on the sleeves the usual you know honeycomb on the sleeves you have also a patina on the uh, uh, rivets so you can see uh, some patina or, or a rusting on the rivets this is good and on the edges of the sleeve you can see a lot of fading and uh, it gives a uh, character to the said uh, jacket so this is size 36 if you translate this in um, in the usual sizing this is size small actually i am size small in denim shirt in denim jacket and uh, i think in even in leather jackets i'm 36 size 36 so inside you could see also some fading on the edges see so we go at the uh, back portion one of the di distinguishing marks of uh, a type one denim jacket is this strap or belt on the back and uh, you can see the patina of the buckle uh, it's it's rust even the rivets you have some rusting going on there and uh, you can see some fade on the armpits not so much on the elbow because I I don't don't uh, put my elbows on the ground or on the table so not so much fading but you can still see a considerable amount of fading on the elbow side and uh, most of the fading is on the armpit see armpit and not so much fade on the back except for some fading on the uh, this uh, line here and the other side you have also fading on the armpit and uh, there is also considerable fading on the elbow here and more on my right I don't know why and my right arm you have a lot of uh, fading on the elbow as compared to my left there's not much uh, fading on see on the left elbow so yeah this is uh, nice this is a very expensive jacket but uh, this is made in Japan and uh, of course the uh, salvage of this is very very distinct see uh, that's the salvage edge of this uh, particular denim fabric and then you can see the roping another salvage edge on the other side of the uh, the bottom area so basically this is very nice actually it is uh, have uh, it is already very soft very comfortable to use and I'm still using this as uh, my sleeping sleeping jacket uh, and uh, it's nice very nice this is type 1 it's already a part of my collection and I really enjoyed using it.
but still I'm still using this so I'm still uh, have so many years using this uh, jacket so lots of fade lots of fade also in the result of the red line uh, rally uh, you have the 10 10 uh, placers uh, out of uh, the 10 10 uh, who made it to the top 10 only one was uh, a denim shirt the nine are all denim jackets and number one is from Thailand you have Kang he used a, a denim jacket made by Chu Chai uh, from Thailand and I plan to get uh, such jacket from Chu Chai. Actually we are friends on Instagram and uh, Facebook and I think the second one is um, is from Iron Heart, uh, a friend of mine from Singapore. And then the third one is a jacket from the real McCoy from Scott, who is uh, based in Canada. So he is also a friend of mine in Instagram and Facebook, and we usually exchange uh, uh, messages. So uh, what is my my intention for the next red line rally uh, of course i'm going to join again i think they're going to start the red line rally this coming october so in my collection i have a momotaro jacket and i have ordered uh, two western shirts from nama uh, which is based based in thailand I'm still thinking of ordering from Nama V. I, uh, we are already friends on Instagram. I'm intending to order a jacket from him. Maybe it's either V or Chu Chai, or maybe I'll get a jacket from Ironheart. Uh, we will see. But um, lesson learned for me for Redline uh, Rally. I think I'm going to uh, use more uh, my jacket next time and use it uh, every day actually this one uh, it means four months in my daily work four or five months in my daily work but still despite those missing uh, on my use for my work and hiking I use this as my sleeping attire every night. But still, we will see if uh, we're going to use the jacket. But uh, my tendency now, uh, while I'm planning to join the next red, red line rally, is that I'll intend to use a denim jacket. Okay, whether it is coming from Chochai, Nama, or Ironheart or Momotaro, we will see. Uh, and, uh, we have to study the properties or the uh, elements or how these uh, denim fabrics from these uh, different uh, brands have been made and how their indigo was treated and all those things. So we'll see. I don't plan to be on the top 10, but I'll, ju I'll just enjoy joining this uh, daily fade competition.